Lonely from the world's capital markets. Here are the financial headlines brought to you by Arise Academy. Good morning and thank you for joining us for today's daily market outlook. Joining me today is Michael from our trading room to tell us more about the recent developments. Michael. Wall Street's main index has lost some steam after the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq's record closing highs in the prior session as investors paused at the start of a week packed with key jobs data and Fed Chair Jerome Powell's congressional testimony. Bitcoin hit a $67,500 high and is rapidly approaching silver's $1.35 trillion market capitalization. Ether topped $3,600 for the first time since January 2022 amid strong institutional demand. Japanese automaker Toyota will announce a $2.2 billion investment for the next few years in Brazil, the South American country's vice president said. He added the investments are expected to create 2,000 jobs and launch new models. The gold dollar pair skyrocketed 1.4% in the last session. According to the Williams indicator, we are in an overbought market. The euro-dollar pair saw a minor rise of 0.1% in the last session. The MACD's positive signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The pound-dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, rising 0.2%. The stochastic RSI indicates an overbought market. The Bitcoin dollar pair exploded 6.9% in the last session. According to the stochastic indicator, we are in an overbought market. Italy's gross domestic product will be released at 0900 hours GMT. Japan's Jibun Bank Services PMI at 0, 0,00 hours and 30 minutes GMT. Australia's current account balance at 0, 0,00 hours and 30 minutes GMT. The UK's BRC like for like retail sales will be released at 0, 0,00 hours and 1 minute GMT. The Eurozone's producer price index at 10, 00 hours GMT. The US factory orders at 15, 00 hours GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.